the 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, this is Steve Rhodes coming to you. Well, that's the 1 p.m. update. I'll eventually get this. Uh, but welcome to the uh, October 20th. The uh, Thirsty Tuesday or Taco Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge. So you see, I can get it back and get back on track out here. Uh, anyways, I just got off track by telling you I can get back on track. You got to love that, right? You got to love it. Well, you don't have to, but I do. But look, here, here is the deal. I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. That means you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. We can take a look at any instrument that you're interested in in any time frame. And we'll give you, uh, we'll give you all of the uh, data. We'll tell you where support and resistance, where buyers and sellers are hanging out for your specific uh, time frame. If you can't give us a call, you can always send me an email. Do that early because of the Internet service providers. I hate to get it at five minutes or ten minutes of and not be able to answer your question. So send it early, Steve, at TFNN.com. Inside that subject, Teddy, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got all the indices in the uh, green out here. You've got the Dow up nearly 300, well, 269 points to be exact. That's about 1%. S&P 35 points, a little over 1%. NASDAQ, uh, a little under 1% or 106 points. Russell up 1 in 112, 1, 1 in 1 tenth percent, up 18 points. Semis up 14. New York Stock Exchange, let's begin there. New York Stock Exchange is trading up uh, 146 points out here. Now, the points aren't uh, what is so important. Earlier at about 1130, the advanced decline line, yeah, so you've got really positive market breadth inside the New York Stock Exchange. So something to consider. Now, you might say, well, how can you say that, Steve? Well, now, we did go take a look at the market breadth data, but I can tell you coming from where we were in the uh, advanced decline oscillator level, below zero, maybe around minus 60, 70, something like that, to above zero out here. Now, this will, will be an end-of-day reading. But here's the deal. If price closes above that zero line, it's a signal that buyers are in control of the market. Now, how could that be? Well, it, because that's the way that you would read it. Now, here with the New York Stock Exchange, you would need to see two closes above that zero line. It'd have to be today and tomorrow. But the reason that I bring that up, not just the market breadth, but as my eyes were scanning some of my other charts that are floating around on my multiple screens, I've got six of them going in here right now. What I noticed was here at the New York Stock Exchange, here's the chart. You can see, first you can see the Gartley buy pattern that formed out here back in September. That actually turned out to be a sell the D point. Now that sell the D point, there is your A to B equals CD. So a beautiful set of patterns that are out here. And that was confirmed when the uh, bear, uh, bear sash candle, bear separating line candle formed on October the 13th. Now, that gives the ability for price to push its way down to support. Now, we don't have market profiles for the New York Stock Exchange. So here we have to use Stevie's tools, such as the oscillator and change line. Uh, and that is held all the way up through yesterday. But one day below is a one hit wonder. That's why we always want at least two days below uh, support above resistance for breakouts, breakdowns. So the New York Stock Exchange right now, folks, the message as of 109 p.m., and I don't know what it will be come 4 p.m., but I can I can guarantee you, for the for what it is that I can guarantee you, that if price does close above 13,126, that is Stevie's green line out here, to just be it suggests being very cautious if you are on the short side. Now, granted, we can't trade the New York Stock Exchange, but the general swath of the market is communicating this to us now. The Wilshire 5000, another one of those uh, larger indices, there's not 5,000 instruments in it. It's been a long time since there were 5,000. We're probably up near the 3,800, 4,000 instruments. But this gives us a good feel for what's going on inside the U.S. market out here. So as we take a look at it, price isn't having that same breakout level. And you've got a bunch of closed-end funds and things of that sort inside the New York Stock Exchange. Wilshire 5000 is a much cleaner um 
uh, index or instrument, or at least it tells us what's going on here in, in uh, companies based here in the U.S. Now, a close above 35,707 out here would uh, say, hey, I've got more rally to go to the upside. So in essence, so so you'd be watching that. Now, if you don't track the New York, uh, the uh, Wilshire 5000, I'm not sure where to tell you to get that information, but 35,707 would be the number that you'd be looking for at the end of today's trading session. So two indices that we don't oftentimes take a, a look at enough, but here are their signals, and it is important for you and I to be taking a look at that. The transports are having a stellar day out here. If we take a look at the transports and its signals out here, you can see that price is trading above Stevie's green line. A green line tells you that the price oscillator is above zero. Bullish conditions have a rising price oscillator above zero. So when prices trade above Stevie's green line, that's what it tells us are those conditions. Now, in the case of the Dow Jones transports, it has a valid top. That's the TD nine count top that is out here. Um, but if price closes above Stevie's green line, let me give you that number here in the transports. Let me get my data box. Okay, well, where did it go? That's really weird. That is really weird. Okay, I don't know why it was back there, but let me, oh, what did I do with that chart? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. See, folks, I cannot do two things at one time. Three things, sure, but two things? Uh, let's see if I can get that transport. There we go. Okay, back in business. So the actual green line number, it's off the screen, but it's 1192582. That's the number to be watching. The close above that puts the Dow Jones transports, if you will, in um, neutral territory because price would be above Stevie's green line. That would be bullish, but yet you've got an existing topping pattern. The only way that you'd see a breakout would be a close above the high of this TD9 count. I believe that is, I believe I'm going to give it to you here. I'm going to do my best. 11,997.41. It's only 20 points higher. From And if price closes above that, the transports are in a uh, strong momentum move uh, to the upside. What if they don't uh, close above that? Well, then you're in neutral territory right now with regard to its message. With regard to the S&P 500, it's testing Stevie's green line out here. But worth noting, as far as what that uh, level is, the exact level is 3466. You're at 3463, basically. A close above 3466. Questions. Um, questions being short out here, at least suggest that there would be more counter trend rally to follow. So that's what's going on. We're just looking at the cash indices right now. We'll go take a look at the equity futures contracts. If we take a look at the Dow Jones, the industrial average out here, it's a green line reading is going to be uh, 28,469 or 28,467 right now. This will all be about the close today. If price closes above that, it says be careful to the short side because you don't necessarily have 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 the technicals, um, I suppose, going to your advantage out here. The NDX 100, the week of the indices out here. But right now, as we speak at 114, it is trading above. And this is the first time. Well, I take that back. It did it uh, this morning, maybe around 630 or 7. Uh, but right now, it's trading above the European opening range, which is 11,738. You might want to put that number down on a pad of paper. You don't want to be short the NQ. If the NQ closes above 11,738.50, uh, at 1.30, because it might close below that in the next 15 minutes. This I do not know. With regard to the NDX 100, though, the number to write on your pad of paper is 11.804. If price closes above that, again, neutral. You can see the existing topping pattern out here, but you've got that support, a potential support. Right now, it's resistance. It's TV's green line. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, 
Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we were talking about the New York Stock Exchange earlier, and I mentioned the market breadth, and yeah, it is very strong out here. The market breadth uh, right now, you've got uh, 653 declining issues, 2,279 advancing issues. So net advancing issues, 1623. That's a, a strong market breadth a day inside the New York Stock Exchange. So pay attention to those oscillator unchanged line uh, levels out there. Um, normally, I would have a tool that I could open up, but it's closed down, and so I can't. Uh, and it will uh, stymie my system if I try to open it up right now uh, to give it to you. But most of you, I'm sure, wrote those numbers down on your pad of paper out here. A Ruby of the Tiger's Den would like to go take a look at the uh, Nikkei. Uh, she says, um, I've got a long position uh, swing, expecting a breakout in the next couple of days. Wow. Good for you. So if we take a look at the uh, Nikkei out here, let's go see what it did today. Uh, really been trading in kind of a narrow range out here, slightly higher, a slight edge uh, to the upside. But Ruby, what I want you to know for sure, and uh, you know these, uh, so I'm not saying that that it, this is not going to break out. You don't like today's close necessarily. It's below Stevie's green line. However, the line is green, so it's not like there's a tremendous amount of damage out there. But being below the uh, green line level doesn't say pay hey, clear breakout or anything like that. But really, what I wanted to share with you more so was 23.910 and 23.908.85. Those are the levels. So when you say that price may break out, realize that that is the TD9 breakdown resistance levels. Not that they can't be taken out, 
But that's where the Nikkei is trading into. So it's trading into resistance. So taking a long trade at this early stage out here, just recognize that that 23908, 23910 uh, may be very difficult to uh, get through. And do I see any kind of other pattern that is out here in the Nikkei? When I look at this daily chart, the answer is no. Now, I'll flip this to weekly right now, just out of curiosity. Uh, the oscillator and change line is going to remain at the daily levels, but just curious what's going on in a weekly time frame. I haven't looked at this. Uh, 24108 is the number on a weekly basis. Prices below Stevie's green line. That's not typically what you would see, but well, I can't say it's be below my green line because that's a daily. Give me a second. Here. Let's change this out here. Let me do it this way. Let me leave that out there. And this, well, nah, we'll do it the right way. If you're going to do it, do it right. All right. You know, I hear my dad talking to my ear, sending that message down. If you're going to do it, do it. Otherwise, don't do it. You know what I mean? Uh, well, he knows what I mean out there. So let's put up the uh, weekly oscillator and change line. And uh, it's red right now. So price is above that. So we're kind of neutral here then, I suppose, with regard to OUL uh, readings out here. Price above the weekly. It is below the uh, daily. But 24,108 is a uh, significant uh, resistance area out there. So um, that's what I see. Let me put up the monthly. Uh, forget about the oscillator and change lines, but just curious here. What do we have on the uh, monthly time frame? I don't have anything out here on the uh, monthly. So, uh, Ruby, I hope that helps you out. Best of luck with regard to your trade in the uh, Nikkei out here. Uh, let's go take a look at Let me see if there's any other requests out there. And thanks for the request. I don't think we have any. So if you'd like to get in the queue, you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. Or you can uh, send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Of course, inside our Tiger's Den, you can send me a ping. So let's go take a look at intraday what's going on. Now, why did Stevie uh, mention to you, hey, on the N NQ out here, be careful. If it closes above 11,738, that is the opening range, the European opening range. There's three opening ranges that Stevie tracks out here with regard to the uh, futures contracts. That's the U.S. opening range, 6 to 630. The uh, Asian opening range, I believe that takes place at 9 to 930 out here. And then you've got the European opening range, 3 to 330. And so the uh, black it represents, the black lines represent the U.S., Blue lines represent Europe. Red lines represent, of course, Asia or China. When price trades above or below those levels, it tells you about a breakout or a breakdown. Out here, otherwise, price is really just consolidating sideways in between those areas. In other words, there's no, no, no neither side has won. And we're taking a look at traders because this is a one world market. So we want to understand what that opening range is for traders around the globe. Well, a close above 11,738 suggests a run to 11,867.25. Not 26, not 24, but 25. Of course, I'm being facetious there. I'm just kidding you. I don't have the ability to control the exact tick out here. But what we do know is where is resistance. And this is playing this. This is playing the game. This is being Bill Belichick or this is being Tom Brady, uh, you know, Buccaneer now. Or this is just being your own coach. This is about understanding what the opponents are doing. Where's the play? Where are people lurking? Where are sellers at? Where are buyers at? We've got to understand the breakdown levels and the breakout areas. Well, on a 30-minute basis, that would be the breakdown level, 11,867 out there. So, again, a close about 11,738 out here in the next seven minutes. Don't know that if that's going to happen, but if it does, it suggests higher price inside the NQ. That's looking at, oh, didn't mean to do that out there, but, oh, I just uh, deleted it. Oh, I happen to do that here. I've got uh, fat fingers, apparently. That's all right. Let's go to another one of our charts. Let me move over and take a look at the ES Mini out here. If I'm going to switch, price is above all opening ranges for the other indices out here, or the other equity futures contracts, is what I should say. Um, let me go over and take a look at the ES Mini. Why the ES Mini? Because it's in the process of potentially forming a Gartley cell pattern. Now, there's an A to B equals CD uh, that's underway. First, let's back up a minute. Because if I don't show you the tools out here, um, you won't have the confidence that I want you to have and why I want you to, to learn how to use these. If you take a look at the uh, low that came in yesterday, uh, just at about 4 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock out there, what did, I don't know what button I hit. What did I do? Okay, good. It's went away. You'll see it was, I got a number nine out there. It was a TD9 count that identified the bottom yesterday. So if you trade equity futures, how important was that for you to know? Mm, Stevie says mucho grande. Uh, now, I know that that doesn't make sense, you know, grammatically, but eh, you kind of get the picture out here. Then where did price stop? TD9 count. Did it earlier this morning. 
What did price do? Price pulled back and tested breakout support, 34.33. You see, the nines don't just help us identify tops and bottoms. What they do is they help us identify breakout support. I guarantee you that there is not a technician, excluding TD stands for Tom DeMarc, by the way, out there, excluding Tom DeMarc and his staff that would have chosen 3433. And none of those people would have chosen 3433. They would have had to look back at the charts and say, oh, the breakout level is 3433. Look at this chart here. How important is that for you to be able to understand what the market is communicating? Well, now the market is going to communicate something else to us shortly, and that's going to be at 3469.25 because that is the TD9 breakdown level. Now, on a short-term basis, if price is able to close above 3469.25, well, tells you about a short-term change in trend. And that short-term change in trend could take you up to 3493.75. But whoa, 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 hold your horses, Steve-O. What about this Gartley cell pattern you mentioned when you open up the chart? Well, that requires an A to B equals CD completion. So let's draw that pattern in here. We'll see the A to B equals CD completes around 3469.25 because it's 3467.75. So it completes there. So should you sell at 3467.75? I didn't mean to yell at you. I really wasn't yelling at you. It's just, eh. No, the answer is no. No, 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 you wouldn't do that. Why? Why wouldn't you just sell the one to one A to B equals CD? We've got to take a look at the formation and how it's and how that D point is being uh, hit. If it's being hit with a wide ranging bar, we've got basically a wide ranging bar right now. That's not how you end A to B equals CD patterns. It's just not. Let alone prices trading on the strong side of that C to D leg. This is saying, hey, you know what, Steve-O? I want to do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the upside. Maybe 3478 or 3493. But we'll take this one step at a time. And we'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the Newsletter tab. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even 
and give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome uh, back, folks. We have a request in our Tiger's Den to go take a look at the American Airlines. AAL is the uh, ticker symbol out here. And uh, the info the request was, uh, let's see here. Can we look at American Airlines daily and weekly? No position other than a paycheck. Thank you. So, Danny, as we take a look at it, I'll give you a little bit more than that because we need to to really understand what it's uh, doing out here. But if we really look at the weekly time frame, uh, Danny, you can see that uh, price has been consolidating for the last uh, couple of months. Uh, August, there's a brand new bullish profile. That When I say brand new, it formed back on August the uh, 10th, so it's not really brand new. Uh, but back when it did form, you can see it, it was – still is bullish in structure and the top of the uh, box out there 1458 um, is where the sellers are lined up in the bottom of the box 1148 is where the buyers are set up we can see both those levels have been tested uh, out here so you know that it's just in a, a consolidation we don't know which side will break but whichever side does break you can take that measured consolidation from high to low and figure that is your approximate move to the upside or to the downside now let me go take a look at my other charts out here out here you can even see the consolidation with inside the monthly profile from 1058 to uh, 1525 out there so you need to see it close about 1525 to suggest an intermediate longer term change in a trend out here now here is the quarterly time frame i know you didn't ask for it we don't typically look at it but in this case here you're an employee i want you to understand what's going on at least from a stock perspective because this is going to certainly impact you when this uh, took its fall uh, out here, what we can see that it did on a quarterly basis. Now, this topped way back here on a quarterly basis back in February of 2018. So it's been in a steady downtrend. The good news is, from a quarterly standpoint, it formed a TD nine count bottom above the breakout level of 678. So for all intents and purposes, this should be a strong bottom. Over time, price should rise, but it's over time. This is a quarterly chart we're looking at. So I don't want to focus too much on it other than just simply, hey, and if price does move lower, 678 would become your support area to watch. On a monthly time frame out here, and this is real key, notice here, uh, Danny, how every rally has stopped at Stevie's red line, the oscillator and change line. That is the importance of this tool as well. I know I, I talk a lot about the TD9s because it's such a useful tool. Well, this is as useful this was the only way that I was able to answer for myself out here. And, I, and, and, and probably I'm the only one that ever had this problem, which was when price started to pull back, if you were long, understanding what the meaning was. Was the meaning just a retracement? Because things just don't go in a one-way direction. Is it just a retracement you should stay in? Well, understanding, Steve, that's where the oscillator and change line came from. And you can see how this helps us. So, Danny. What you need to see here right now is a close above 1354 on a monthly time frame in order for this to get any kind of mojo on the daily or the weekly. And so those are going to be the things to pay attention and to look at. Otherwise, you've just got the consolidation if I go back to the daily and the weekly time frame charts out there. So hope that helps you out. Best of luck. And uh, thanks for the question. We've got another question inside the Tiger's Den. Uh, I believe this one was, I uh, don't remember right now off the top of my head who requested it. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Space, SPCE, is what we're going to go take a uh, look at out here. Now, this is the weekly time frame chart. Let's put up the daily. Let's populate this. So here's what we know about uh, space. SPCE. I should know who this is. What is this? This is space, maybe? Is that what this is? SPCE. Let me get this up here on the Space Force. I don't know. Space uh, Virgin Galactic Virgin Galactic Holdings out there. Okay obviously has to do with space. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this up on our screen out here. And our screen tells us that this should continue to move higher and continue to move higher to where? Well, at this stage here, looks like there's an A to B equals CD pattern that is unfolding. We'll have to go back to my other chart, see if that's been confirmed out here. But right now, a no topping signal and price should be headed back towards its highs. And that's uh, around the 27 and change level. That's the daily time frame chart. Message from the weekly, we're above profiles out here, price running back to resistance, which is going to be the July 24th high. That is uh, 27.55 out there. 
And uh, the reason why that's your uh, 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 resistance level, because of that bearish engulfing candle that formed July, the week of July 31st, it's the high of the engulfed patterns or the engulfing candle itself. It's the high that creates that resistance level. So there's a resistance out there and above that you're back into the 40 type level out there that was the weekly time frame chart monthly chart not enough data to really assist us so uh and my apology i don't recall who made that request oh i know we want to go take a look and see if there's a confirmed a to b equals cd to the upside so let's go do that let's just expand out the daily time frame chart out here and the uh, swing point that we're looking at, the one that I was going to use, let me see, where's the high? Is that the high? 2253, 2254. No, so it had August, uh, October 8th, 10 million shares, and that was passed yesterday, closed above with 17 million. Yeah, you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside inside of ticker symbol SPCE. Now, that gives you a price projection of, drum roll Johnny, of uh, 27.54 interesting how that uh, ties right out to the high that I mentioned would be resistance out here and that's at 27.55 so I would say pretty good chance that where if you're asking where price is headed to that 27.54 ish type area if it can close above 27.55 out there then you've got a large A to B equals CD pattern that is underway. And there's a good chance for that. And the reason why there's a good chance for that or great chance for that, at least as of right now, is 136, is the retracement on this was so small. It was just a it was less than a 0.382 retracement. So there should be a lot of energy to move it higher. If it doesn't, as you're watching this over the course of the next several days out there, it should make you say, This is Stevie's favorite thing to say. Hmm, something to think about. Not actually my favorite thing to say, but I do like saying it every now and then. So hope that helps you out, whoever put in that request out there. And uh, let me see if there's anything else in the uh, den. No, nothing else in the den. Let me go check the email status. Oh, we've got one here. No subject. Uh, this person didn't put in radio show question. And I don't have a name, but that's okay. We're going to go look at him anyways. You take the time. I'll take the time. B-A-B-A -B -A is the request out here. That is Alibaba. And uh, let's go see where this is trading. Right now, it is above the uh, top of a daily profile. Let's move this out of the way. So if this can close above 310.01 today, you've got a, a bullish breakout that's going on because price would close above the top of its daily. It's already above the weekly profiles and above the monthly. So, And the monthly says uh, this is an A to B equals CD to the upside with its next price projection area at the 326.35 level. Now, in order to really do an, eff uh, an effective uh, review of Alibaba, we need to go take a look at my other charts. Aha! Aha! Why were we doing that? Because yesterday confirmed a Rose Mintum indicator top. What do you mean, Steve-O? You just said this was headed higher. I did. And we're still going to maintain that, although right now you are in the zone that is called undecided. Why is it undecided? Okay. Yesterday, we have price moving higher, doing less relative energy. Uh, we actually got that... Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top confirmed back here on October 14th, lasted for a couple of days. Then we get another confirmation of a Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top yesterday, October 19th. But what price didn't do yesterday is close below Stevie's green line. Remember, price traded above a green line, Stevie's green line, these, di these not diagonal ones, but these, these little squiggly ones out here, the, uh, Peter, the famous Peter Falk serpentine line out there. Uh, and uh, so as long as price is above a green line, it's bullish. But wait a minute, we've got a bearish signal out here. Yes, we do. That's why it's in the undecided lane out here. But one thing it isn't, it's not bearish, even with the confirmed Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. We must see support levels get broken in order for any instrument to be bearish. Know your TD9s, know your TAS market profiles, and definitely know Stevie's green line. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, 
but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome up back up, folks. Uh, we had a request to take a look at the Fastly Inc. FSLY is the uh, ticker symbol out here. We can see this formed a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top. It did this on October 14th, and then on the very next trading session, gigantic swoosh, Nike swoosh to the downside, big gap to the downside, uh, closing below 91.20. That was its breakout level. Next breakout level is 77.50. Nothing on the charts here to suggest that it will do anything other than head back to 77.50, that uh, breakout area. Um, that's on the daily. On the weekly, we've got a Rhodes Momentum Indicator uh, topping pattern out here. This suggests a pullback perhaps to 69.49 to 76.18. Any close below 69.49 opens up the Kimono for 17.18 out there. So I would be careful. I don't see this as a bottom. I would assume that that was the reason to ask about it. Uh, but maybe that wasn't the reason to ask about it. But this looks like it should continue to head lower out there. So thanks for writing in, and best of luck with those two trades. Let's go out to Gary in Michigan. Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? And thanks. I might be in a bad connection. So if I lose you, um, uh, just make it a great day. And I love when you're talking to yourself because uh, I do that a lot, too. And, you know, you can't blame anybody but yourself if you get the wrong answer. But I love it because you're, you're on a roll and on fire. So great call so far. Well, thanks. 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 Okay. So gold. Gold is what you uh, – gold yep. and silver, right? So gold and silver. So specifically on yep. gold. Yeah, well, anything specific for either of those two well, instruments that you're looking for, just in I'm case looking, we cut off. I'm, I've got puts on both of them uh, just to cover all my um, longs a bit in case this gets crazy and it does drop like we you know, looked at in the newsletter and stuff like that as possibilities. Um, and so I'm just looking for ranges now and what I'm, targets we're shooting for up and down. Sure. So here's where, here's where I would start. 
you know, with my analysis. First, take a look at the daily time frame. In the case of silver, we know that price is trading above Stevie's red line. Not as powerful as trading above a green line, but nonetheless, if you're above that level, it says there could be more of a retracement. So this is in between support and resistance. There was an evening star pattern, a three river evening star that formed out here around October the 12th. So 2571 is a real resistance zone. Gary, if price closed above 2571, this little Gartley cell will have failed, and this would suggest that price would move higher. Now, move higher to where I don't know just yet. We'll go take a look at those charts. But I want to at least give you that number to be focused on and paying attention to. The other thing that I would do, so I go to the daily and say, okay, the daily says price should uh, or price may continue to rise. What do we have going on in the short-term basis? So for me, the short-term time frame that I would like to use for a signal would be the 30-minute time frame. And in a 30-minute time frame, we can see that price has made its way up to resistance. It's breakdown resistance level at 2502. Price is trading right now at 2502. So you're going to learn um, a great deal about silver and its directional intent probably over the course of the next hour or so. And you're going to watch this 2502. If price closes over 2502, then the 30 minute time frame chart is telling you that there's a uh, higher price should unfold. Now, higher price to where? I'm just going to start on the 30 minute time frame chart and see if uh, yesterday's high. Uh, was the end of the A to B equals CD pattern out here. So we're going to draw this in. And uh, it was close, but no cigar. So if price is over 2502, then the extension uh, would take you up to about the 2519 level. Now, not that price can't get above that, but that would be the next run. 2519, 2516 would be the area. So on silver, any questions there so far? No. But looking on the downside, and the idea is basically if um, if it's in the range, where's the bottom of the range if it breaks out going lower? Yes. So yeah. So let me uh, also. I wanted to give you one more potential upside. I want to see sure. where. I know that silver uh, is trading below or has been trading below the uh, the TAS market profiles out here. So I want to make sure because that becomes another. Re yeah, it's, we're we're not there. So here, if you look at these charts, is silver should so knowing that it's it's it's. Um, on the day on the 30 minute time frame chart it's up at that resistance level as we look at the at the daily charts now you're going to see i've got trend lines drawn in here and price is right up into those trend lines so if price can clear this area gary what it would suggest to me is that it's going to try to make a run for the bottom of that profile which is 2593 um that's the bottom of that uh, that's the bottom of that daily profile do we have that message right now at 147 we do not but if price does close above these levels that we've been looking at, that would be the likely outcome. Is that okay? Gotcha. Okay. So what I would do is actually probably look at yesterday's high. Yesterday's high was 25.12. You get a close above 25.12. You'd have to say odds favor making that run higher. Okay? Got it. All right. On gold, anything specific here in, the, in, in gold or, or really the same thing? Really the same thing. Okay, so gold should have resistance where we're at near here in 1922. And 1922 was the top of the daily profile. You see a, a significant number of descending trend lines out here as well inside of gold. If price can close above 1922, maybe it's those trend lines, that little cluster area around the 1940 level that contains price, or it could mean to move up to 1961. Now let's go take a look at Stevie's other charts out here. What do we have going on in gold right now? Well, price is above its red line. We've just seen a sideways movement out here. Um, so nothing that, you know, blows. And you've got an evening star pattern where there's some resistance uh, at the highs of about uh, 1939.40 to be exact out here. So there's nothing really enthusiastic about the daily time frame chart. But again, closing above Stevie's red line would suggest higher price. But we can see it's trading up into this resistance, this 1922 level. I think you only have to get concerned, potentially concerned, is if you see a close above 1922 out there, because that could really bring into play that 1961 level. On a 30 minute time frame chart here for gold, um, I don't really have much of anything. I could draw in a small A to B equals CD to the upside. Doesn't look like much of a retracement out here, so I always hesitate on on those types of A to B equals CD patterns out here. They, they still exist, um, but the A to B equals CD, the one to one, we already we've already hit it. And and, you, and but so okay, so here's the deal: you already hit it not you, but the 30-minute chart, and it confirmed a, an right. a, a sell the D point, and it did that at 1230 when it created a bearish engulfing candle. 
Remember, the bearish engulfing candle, it's the high of that candle or the candles that it engulfs. Well, that would be the prior candle at 12 o'clock, and price is trading above that high. That high, by the way, is 1915.14. So here's an A to B equals CD that's going on. It'll head up to its next level. That's 1918, and the level above that is 1923. So at this stage, the signals coming to us from gold are that it wants to go try Okay, we're back on live. Uh, can you guys hear me? And then you guys, gals out there, we're about to go to a hard break. Sorry about that. I see a little I bit of a brainstorm here. Oh, Gary, you're back. Okay, so uh, was that helpful to you? Do you need anything else? Yeah, that's fine. You're going to go to break. We'll talk another day. I'm going to look at uh, maybe, a, uh, you know, uh, taking it out on the weekly and stuff like that. But we can do that maybe tomorrow or something. Okay? Okay, that sounds great. Thanks for the call. Sorry about that little interruption there. Steve Roach with TFNN. We'll be right back to close her out. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the open call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. 
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Earlier in the uh, show, the question uh, that was presented to the Tigers, Dan, uh, would I uh, take a short now inside the, uh, I, I don't remember which indice, the ES or the NQ, they're all uh, doing the same thing. And that same thing is they're all testing the uh, Apogee pivot point area. Now, Apogee is the uh, point in time when the uh, moon is furthest from Earth during the current lunar cycle. Like during the current lunar cycle. That took place Friday evening after the market closed. So what you and I don't understand or don't know is whether it was Friday's close or Sunday's open, that becomes the Apogee pivot point. That's why if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you'll see two different price levels because I don't know. So I mark them both. But we're inside that range right now. But if we take a look at the ES mini, since we spent a bit of time on that earlier, we're taking a look at the A to B equals CD pattern out here. And in that, we, so we know a couple of things. You're up against that Apogee pivot point area. That's a resistance level where you would, could definitely take a uh, shot to the uh, short side. Here on a 30 minute basis, we've got an A to B equals CD that's taken us up into 34.69 and a quarter a TD9 breakdown area. If you get a bearish reversal candle coming into 2 p.m., and I don't know whether we will or we won't, that would confirm a Gartley sell signal. If you don't get the uh, bearish reversal candle, you don't have a confirmed Gartley sell signal. You just have price up at a natural resistance point. I'd like to see some additional confirmation there. It doesn't mean we'll get it, um, but I could understand taking uh, that shot out there. Now, that's inside of the ES mini out here. If we went and stuck with the ES mini but went to shorter time frames, so we went off of the 30 and we go down to 10, 5 or something, we're looking for some signals there. Well, here happens to be a five minute chart. And on a five minute chart, you get to see the TD9 working. You can see that formed a top price uh, uh, then closed below Stevie's uh, green line. That's at 3464. And so, John, as long as price remains below that green line on a five minute time frame chart, that says, hey, stay with that trade with price targeting 3452. Before we go to break on a 10 minute time frame chart, what do we have out here? What we've got is um, not much don't have much out here on a 10 minute time frame chart and we're out of time but folks thanks so much for being here today on terrific tuesday stay tuned for two more great hours you got uh, our favorite polar bear tom o'brien to take us home from three to four and stevie's side